In this lecture, let's understand what is a route parameter and how to read the value of a route parameter from our ASP.NET Core application. Route parameters are the named URL segments that are used to capture the value specified at their position. The value of the route parameter can change. Let's understand route parameter with an example. So here we have a simple URL. Now in this URL, this part is fixed, but this part can change. So let's say this is the ID of a product. So let's say when we make a request to the ASP.NET Core application, from that application, we want to get a specific product by its ID in the response. So we need to specify that ID in the URL. So when I'm specifying the ID as 101, in the response, we should get the product with the ID 101. Now this value here can change in the URL. Currently it is 101, but it can also be 102 or 103 or 104 or something like that. And since this part of the URL can change, you can call it as the route parameter. Let's take another example. So here we have another URL. Now in this URL, till author, the URL will be same. Okay, it will not change. But the author name and the book ID can change. Right, so currently the author name is John Smith and the book ID is 123. But this author name and the book ID can change. So when we are making a request to this URL, we want to get that book in the response whose author is John Smith and whose ID is 123. But if I make a request to this URL, in that case, I want to get that book in the response whose author is Stephen King and whose ID is 10267. So as you can see, the author name and the ID of the book can change. So in this URL, this author name and the book ID is the route parameter. So in simple words, you can think of a route parameter as that part of the URL whose value can change. Now the next question is, how can we define a route for such URLs where we have a route parameter, where the value of a part of the URL can change? Let's actually see that. Let's go to Visual Studio and let me go ahead and let me delete these endpoints from here. And from this default route, instead of returning this message, let's simply say, welcome to my app and let's go ahead and let's create a new route for that on this endpoint let's go ahead and let's call maybe map get method and the first argument for this map get should be the path so here let's say slash products slash and then here we also want to have the id now when we specify id like this in that case this route will be executed for this URL slash product slash ID. But here the value of this ID can change. Okay. Here we don't want to use this ID as a literal. Here we want to use it as a variable whose value can change. For that what we can do is we can wrap this ID within curly braces like this. Okay. So this part in the URL is going to be constant. It is going to be a literal. But this part can be any value. And this is how we specify a route parameter in the route. When we use something within curly braces like this, that means there we are defining a route parameter whose value can change. Okay, and the second argument should be the middleware function, which should get executed whenever the URL pattern matches this URL. All right. And here we are going to get the context object. So let's specify that. And here, let's go ahead and let's return some response. So here, let's say this is product with ID. And then we want to display the ID value which the user has typed in the URL. That means the ID value which we are going to receive for this ID route parameter. Now, in order to read the value which we are going to receive for this ID route parameter, what we need to do is on the context object, first, we need to access the request object because with the request, the route parameter is going to come, right? And on that request object, we can use route values. Okay, so this route values, it is a dictionary. And from this dictionary, we can get the value of the route parameter. So here we want to get the value of ID route parameter. We can use square bracket like this. And in there, we can specify the key as ID. Okay, 
and it is going to return us a value so let's go ahead and let's create a variable and let's call it maybe id now you can call this variable anything and also keep in mind that this route values it is going to return an object type so first we need to convert that object type to a proper data type here we know that the id is going to be an integer value so what we are going to do is we are going to use convert dot to int 32 okay and to this we are going to pass this expression again this expression here it is going to return system dot object type and we are converting that value to int 32 and then we are assigning it to this id variable now let's go ahead and let's use that id variable here so basically we want to print the value of this id variable in the response all right and here let's use a wait keyword and let's make this function as a sync with this let's go ahead and let's run this application okay so currently we are in the root url so here you can see welcome to sp.net core application now here if i type slash products slash any product id let's say one two three four five and if i press enter you will see that in the response we have this is product with id one two three four five if i change this id maybe one zero one and if i press enter you will see this is product with id one zero one so after the product this part of the url is the route parameter so whatever value we are passing here that is going to be assigned to this id route parameter and we can read that value from this route values dictionary now currently here we are only specifying one route parameter but you can have multiple route parameters in your url for example let me go ahead and let me copy this route from here and we are going to define another route this time the route is going to be slash books slash author and then here we are going to have a route parameter called author name and then after that we are specifying a slash and then we are going to define another route parameter and let's call it maybe book id now keep in mind that the route parameter names are case insensitive for example here i am setting the route parameter as id in lower case but when reading the value of this id route parameter if i name it as id all in caps in that case also we are going to get the proper id value because as i mentioned the route parameter names are case insensitive okay the only thing which you need to keep in mind is that the route parameter names does not have a space between them like this okay all right so from this route we want to get the value of author name and book id so here instead of calling it id let's call it book id okay and here it should be book id instead of id because the route parameter name is book id right then let me also go ahead and copy this line one more time and we also want to read the value of this author name so let me go ahead and let me create a variable let's call it author name and here let's pass that route parameter so from this route values dictionary we want to read the value of author name route parameter now this author name is going to be a string value so here instead of converting it to integer we are going to convert it to string for that we can use this to string method on this convert class okay and here let's say this is the book authored by and then the author name so let's go ahead and let's copy this variable or what we can also do is here let me use this dollar sign and then in here we can use curly braces and we can simply use the variable name so the variable name here is author name and book id is again let's use these curly braces and there we want to display the book id okay with this let's go ahead and let's run this program again and here let's say root url slash 
book slash author slash the author name let's say john smith slash the book id let's say 101 if i press enter nothing is happening let's see why is that so basically the url is books slash author and i have used book slash author so let's change it to books okay and now if i go ahead and if i press enter you see this is the book authored by john smith and book id is 101 so here i have an extra a let me remove that and if i press enter we have the correct output and if i change the author name maybe to stephen king and let's specify the book id let's say one two three four five if i press enter you will see this is the book authored by stephen king and book id is one two three four five so i hope with these two examples what is a route parameter is clear to you in order to specify the route parameter in the route path we use a set of curly braces and in there we specify the route parameter name here for this route we have only one route parameter which is this id but for this route we have two route parameters the first route parameter is author name and the second route parameter is the book id and you can have as many route parameters in your url as many you want all right so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day